lovelies, I hope you're all well. So as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Olifanchi laser cut kits. I use them all the time and so today I wanted to show you how I prep them, how I decorate them and how I incorporate them within our Cricut to make some beautiful, beautiful pieces. So I've got one of the kits here and the first thing I do is I get some very fine sandpaper and I go in and I just gently give everything a really quick rub just to take off any rough edges, any dust that may be sat on there, any notches and just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. So I do that with every single piece. I'm then going to take them all outside and I'm going to spray paint a primer coat of just white primer spray paint. You can get it from your local DIY store, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from eBay. And I always go in with a spray painted primer base. Once my primer has dried, I'm once again going to go in with some fine sandpaper and just lightly give everything a quick sand down just to even out any lumps or bumps I may have in my paint, any kind of hard pieces that have dried and just go through and lightly sand everything. Now I love playing with colours, with textures, I like things bouncing off light, so for me when I'm doing these I use lots and lots of different materials. So for my paints I tend to use tester pots which I get from my local DIY store. I may use spray paint as well, again I'll get that from my local DIY store. I also like to go in with acrylics, so I'm using a wide variety of different textures in terms of the paint just have fun with it. Now you want them to go on in a nice thin layer. If you are unhappy with something, once it's dry you can go back in with your fine sandpaper and just sand it down slightly. So for example with this piece here it's gone on slightly patchy so again I'm just going to go in with my sandpaper just give it a fine sand and then I will go back over it with the paint. I also like, as I say, to add different textures, so I've got some powder here which I put on. This is just a nail decoration powder, but it works great to add a different texture in. I've got some different coloured and different shaped sequins. I've got lots of different fine glitters. I've got diamantes, and I've also got flocking powder as well, which adds a nice fuzzy effect to my wood. If I'm gluing I tend to go in with my Mod Podge and in terms of brushes I tend to use good quality nice fluffy brushes. Some are quite thick, some are quite thin. It's well worth investing in some good quality brushes because the last thing you want is the bristles ending up all over your work. I also use paint sponges as well and the other thing I like to use is makeup sponges. Once everything's dry and I'm completely happy with it, I can then start constructing it. Now I use Mod Podge to glue it together, but you could use a hot glue gun, you could use wood glue, you could even use super glue, it's completely up to you. You can see I've added a little bit of vinyl onto this one. So I'm going to start just organising how I want it to be and then gluing it together. And how you want it to look is completely up to you. Once it's done you can then start adding it to whatever you want to add it to. So with this one it's going on a canvas. I'm just going to glue it on using a hot glue gun. So this lovely bird cage is going to go on this box. This is a cards and gifts box for a wedding. You can see that I've already done a vinyl stencil which I've painted so I'm just going to remove the stencil and I can then glue it onto the box. Again, I'm going to use my hot glue gun, but you can use Mod Podge, super glue, wood glue, whatever it is that you prefer to use. Mm -hmm. 
You can see I've got a wooden sign here. This is from SNS Sign Blanks. It's just a plain MDF plank. They're really lovely. I get all my wooden blanks from SNS Sign Blanks. I've gone in and I've just painted it. And then I've got some vinyl here. So I'm just going to transfer that quickly. You can see I've done a skull here. All I've done is spray painted it white. I've added some glitter on the hat area and then I've just got two foam roses which I've then spray painted, one rose gold metallic and one a lilac. And then we've got one more left to do. So I've got some vinyl here. This is actually white vinyl, which I've then spray painted using metallic rose gold spray paint. I've got another Ollie sign. You can see that it's been specially made for me. Anything you want, they will do for you. It's such a fantastic company. And then my wooden sign block is from SNS Sign Blanks. You can see it's got several parts to it, so it's a great block. They are, again, a really great company. I get all my sign blanks from them. Uh, they come in all different finishes, all different shapes, all different sizes. You can have ridges in them, you can have them flat. So well worth going and having a look at those. And all I've done is I've just spray painted it white. The first thing I'm going to do is transfer my vinyl onto my sign, just the way I normally would. All that's left to do is to glue on my Ollie sign and then the whole thing's complete. So just some nice, really easy projects to do. Yes, it takes time to do the painting, but it's fun to do it and it's fun kind of working with different textures, different materials. And there's so much that you can do with these. You can make them into so many different things. So just some really nice ideas, things like parties, weddings, birthdays, Christmas. There is so many lovely items on the Ollie site. So well worth going and having a look. And I know that their Christmas stock is coming out soon. So definitely go and look at that. Mm -hmm. 